everyone, welcome back to part two of the Creepy Towering Clown, also known as Grimsley the Great, Robin Hood Family Haunts. And in the first one part, we've had some technical difficulties, and now we're back ready to set the, him back up. So, back with the setup. Alright, so um, apparently when his clothes come up, everything's going to snap into place. If you saw the last video, you know that we had a little bit of technical difficulty. Apparently there's zip ties here holding it up, and since I'm only five foot one, I didn't realize that everything will eventually pull up and we'll be good. So let's put his chest plate on. We're on his shoulders, and there's a harness piece right here. We're just going to snap this in. Once again, filling out his character when he's completely fully dressed. <laughs> um, it makes you feel better. Nini is here from Robin Holt Family Haunts, and she thinks the five foot one host is here and needs a chair. <laughs> so that's exciting in itself. <laughs> All right, we got the chest plate on. Now what we need to do next is we're going to put um, Q and R on the hand, the right hand and the left hand. Wait, we have to put the face on nope, first. Nope, not yet. I thought because. Okay, and then um, One. Well, we'll put, looks right, we'll put the head on. Told you. All right. <laughs> All right, so there's another harness here. And it's all the way up in the back. And this is where it gets a little funny. Because I seriously... Don't think he's going to make it. Don't think I can. <gasps> he did. Reach that. And I got him. And he's in. And he's We're stable. Good. We're good. good. So now what we have to do is connect everything. There we go. So we got black to black plug. We're awesome. We've got... Red to the red plug. Red. Don't be stupid. I really do need to cut these zip ties. I'm sorry. I got the scissors. Do, 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 do. We have to cut. We have to cut this set of zip ties. The red doesn't fit. It's not connecting. So we'll get that debris later. And this is going to help us connect everything. Okay, so that's connected now. And then the, 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 what we were looking for earlier for K is right here. We're going to connect that as well. So we have Robin Holt Family Haunts has now set his head up, his torso. Now it's time to do his arms. The difference is, is that with his arms, you have to actually feed them through the arm hold of the outfit. They're not going to go on his body first. It's one arm at a time. So Kathleen, can I have Q, please? We're gonna go to the left arm first. So this is our so Q. Is Q. Okay. So now what we do is we take. Don't we need to put his arms up and then put his arms through? No, we gotta put his arms through. And then connect. Them. And then connect his arms because there's no way you can feed his arms through here. Yeah. And then and his arms back. are going to be attached up here to, to his top. shoulder. To the top hunchback. After we connect them. You know, we run through. His arms are sick. Do you need stable? No, but I really could have used the stool. <laughs> um, I'll go so, get you one. Cat, you give me the one out of the bathroom. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking. Look. Okay. So we did that one, and now we're going to do R while Kathleen's getting a stool. And um, we're going to feed oh. it through. And hopefully this video will be a lot shorter than the other video. He's already looking awesome. I got the stool. Thank you, Kathleen, for your assistance. Where did that Just put it right here, please. He is awesome. Okay. On the video, it may look like he's the smallest thing in the world, but in real life, this is really huge. Really huge. Um, he's seven feet tall, which explains why we need a stool. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pull his clothes up a little bit. We're going to start dressing. His hands are bigger than my head. <laughs> Start dressing him and getting his clothes up here. We can assume him to our liking with his clothing. We can make it whatever we want. Now, there's we one more piece we have to attach to him. Isn't it Velcro? And, like, no, it's I... actually his, um, believe it or not, it's his torso, the back. It's his back. He comes with a, a curved spine. Kathleen, could I have the spine, please? And this? Yep. So you yeah. can show everybody. It comes with a spine to give him spinal support. And this, mm -hmm. too, latches in. So he should be 
Good to go. Also, here's a close up look at the sensor. If you're wondering where his sensor was, it's right there. In between his buttons. So when he's looking down. Now, at you. Luke, this is hard. There's a piece all the way in the back here. If you want to come around for a second. Can you come up it's here? Can you dark. see up here? It's pretty dark. There's a piece up here. It's hard to see. It's actually at the top of letter L. Um, and it is, is, it in head, is it? it's in his neck, and that's his, uh, his piece. Where it snaps on. Yeah, and then I don't know where the rest of his spine is supposed to go. I think it's just supposed to sit here. Yeah, there's actually a plate here, so it rests on it. And this is so that his clothes can fit nice and snug. Snug. <laughs> his bib. So that's his, his bib. His ginormous <laughs> So, taking a look, we're going to give him his final dressing. I'm going to plug in his adapter, and maybe we can see it run. Yeah, let's see so it run. here's his giant bib. Um, unfortunately, this little kid's stole. I'll be right back, people. Well, you, you can see the giant bib. It's not going to work, as I definitely need to be a lot taller and and a chair. for this creepy clown. Um, I love his bib. His bib is covered in blood. A box. It's pretty awesome. Um, the theme is, is he likes to take people and keep them for his victims, so it's kind of cool. Can't wait to see that. Here's his plug. He is super cool. Here's the plug in. Let's take this letter T off. Control that, please. Stick it on me. Um, there's Velcro here for his neck. So there's little Velcro buttons. We're going to put those on here so that he's a little bit more cooler. And it's secure. I'm just trying to find this side. Here it is. And then we're just going to bleed his dressing. Tie him off. Oh, we can actually do, can plug him up in. Can you plug him yeah, unbox the adapter, cat. Please okay. don't damage it, please. I'm not on here. Okay. Um, it says that I have to add the adapter. These instructions were actually very easy to go with. Um, so he's an easy setup. Setup was you? Would yeah, you I think? mean, I would say it took us about 20 minutes to set him up total if we didn't have to stop for five minutes and figure out what was the deal with the with that instrument. Let's see here. Optional pad setup, operational it. instructions, camera storage. I'm assuming it's in his box somewhere. So we're going to need to probably shift him just a little bit. Let's get this. I mean, they gave you, look at this AC adapter. The cord is it's outrageously huge. long. Um, you could have asked it's for a better. longer than regular cord. ones. Stand up. And we're going to hopefully get him going. Come around here, please, for that. Thank you. And I'm just going to pop open the bottom of his back, and we're going to plug him in. Hopefully. There he goes. I'm starting a new juggling act. I'll need a hand for one of you. And a head and a foot. That's all any part will do. <laughs> And there you have it. We have Grimsley, the creepy towering clown, our newest edition for the 2018 Robin Hall Family Haunts. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Kathleen. Um, and uh, he's awesome. Seven feet tall of happiness right there. Look how happy he is. He's laughing with joy. All right. Bye.